Imagine you suddenly lose your father and then your mother abandons you. Imagine you then spend your child- Now I will show you how to break down this clip. The project files are in the comments below if you wish to follow along. Change the timeline frame rate to 60 fps. Drag a fusion comp to the timeline and set the duration to 10 seconds. Apparently I forgot to do it before starting to edit. Then hop on to fusion. Drag the stormy clouds video clip and connect it to the media out. Add a lens distort and set the distortion to the max. Then get the lightning overlay and merge it. Change the apply mode to soft light. Open the toolbar by pressing shift and space and type 3im. This is just a faster way to get image plane 3D. Then add it and connect the merge node to it. Get also renderer 3D and connect it to the media out. And lastly, get camera 3D, which we merge into the image plane 3D. Drag the media out to the right viewer and the merge 3D to the left one. I accidentally dragged the image plane and had to wander for a while because I didn't see the camera. So how this works? We are creating like a real life scene here. So we position the images based on how far away they are in the real life. For example, the sky is pretty far away. So let's push it far. And when you push it far, you notice it shrinks, so just increase the scale. Next, you want to get the moon, and by the way, you need to add image plane 3D to every image we add. You can also connect them to the same merge node. Add soft glow to the moon and decrease the gain, so the moon has a sober glow in it. You can change your perspective in the 3D space by pressing Alt and holding the mouse wheel. Push the moon back so it's in front of the sky. And now we are just going to position the images. So next get your forest. The forest ain't of course as far as the moon, so bring it closer. Then the gravestones. Add color character node and tick the box from the options tab. Copy these settings. Next, get your single gravestone. We need to mask the black bar from the top with the rectangle mask. The mask is going to act a little weird once you've scaled the image from the image plane 3D. Position the gravestone like so for now. Next, get image of the boy and bring it pretty close to the camera. Position it to the right side of the screen. As you have seen, Every image we add is getting closer to the camera and this creates the 3D effect. Then get the image of the woman and position it not just closer to the camera but to the left side of the screen. Position it so the cuts are off screen. Now we can position the gravestone better. I scaled the forest and the graveyard up so they are a little more visible. Next get the tree trunk and position it in front of the boy from the camera's perspective. Scale it down and take it here. Then get the same tree trunk second time and bring it in front of the woman from the camera's perspective. You want to actually position this one off screen to the left side so it becomes visible once the camera starts moving to the left. Now we have all the key elements in the scene. Add text note and merge it to the single gravestone. Type we love you forever. Scale it down so it fits into the gravestone. Change the font to Sitka. Position the text to the top of the gravestone and change the color to black. Add color character to the first tree trunk, tick the box as always, and decrease the lift a little. Also, add color character to the single gravestone and decrease the gain. Then we animate the camera movement. Go to the transform tab of the camera 3D. Keyframe the upper values at frame 0 and bring the camera in front of the sky so the moon ain't visible in the frame. Keyframe the rotation Z tool and decrease the value. Move to a frame 360 and set the values back to normal. Then drag the camera back where it was so the whole scene is visible again. From the spline, select everything and hit F from your keyboard. Press T and make the ease in to 55. Add a keyframe for translation X from the camera at frame 380. Move to a frame 440 and move the camera left so the tree trunk covers the screen. From the spline, move the right handle so it's on top of the line. Copy these settings to the color character node of the left tree trunk. I hope this was helpful. If so, click this video on the screen. See you there.